Hello and welcome to this first opinion veterinary ultrasound case. I'm Dr Camilla Edwards. So this is a female neutered four-year-old chihuahua who had a history of re being recently spayed. But here we could see some jejunal lymph nodes which appeared hypoechoic and enlarged. And we can see the blood vessel that runs between them also. So this is one lymph node here and then with a blood vessel and then the other lymph node on the other side. So we've adjusted the gain um, to um, suit what we're seeing at the moment. Um, and these lymph nodes appear quite dark um, compared to the mesentery, so hypoechoic compared to the mesentery. So this is an image of the liver. We can see the diaphragm down here and we can see the liver parenchyma here. Um, we haven't changed the gain um, since the previous image and now we can see the liver's looking quite dark. Um, but I suspect that's because the mesentery is actually quite bright um, and the liver is, is actually normal. We can see here as well the spleen is looking quite hypoechoic. So actually it's the mesentery that's really bright um, and reactive and the, the organs are a normal echogenicity. But because we've adjusted um, to the brightness of the mesentery with our gain, um, then the a parenchyma of the liver and spleen looks dark. So we can see here in this area of near the tail of the spleen and near the stomach, we can see lots of uh, lymph nodes that we wouldn't normally see, uh, quite rounded, hypoechoic uh, structures there. Here near the left kidney and the spleen fanning through, we can see all these lymph nodes in this region. Again, bits moving a bit slower, we can see a, a large round hypoechoic lymph node there. And this is a lymph node we wouldn't normally see in the abdomen. So um, the, the fact that we're seeing it is unusual. In, in dogs, we would normally say a lymph node under one centimetre in thickness is, is probably normal, but the fact that we don't normally see it is a, a, um, alerting us to an issue. Again, this lymph node we can see and um, um, among other smaller lymph nodes, but again, that we wouldn't normally see. So here we have stomach, spleen and left kidney. So this is the region of the left limb of the pancreas as well. Um, and we've got these enlarged lymph nodes. So in this clip, we can see the aortic trifurcation and um, along here. And we can see some sublumbar lymph nodes as well. So in this case, we found a very reactive mesentery, no free fluid seen, and there was a generalised lymph adenopathy with enlarged, rounded and hypoechoic lymph nodes. It's impossible to distinguish from neoplasia from inflammatory cause with, here without sampling, but the dog had recently been spayed, so obviously a big a possibility of inflammation causing reactive lymph nodes so it'd be wise to repeat this scan after a few weeks to see whether that returned to normal.